Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You might remember me from such films as Today We Kill, Tomorrow We Die, and Gladys, the Groovy Mule. Hello YouTube! Thanks for joining us for another episode of Voice Breakdown, the show where we teach you how to imitate some of the most iconic voices. We have yet another Simpsons episode for you. Voice Breakdown. I'm honestly thinking of just making this the How to Do Simpsons Voices show at this point. I'm having such a good time doing these and there are just so many great characters to choose from. Today is quite possibly my favorite Simpsons character, and one you might not expect, Troy McClure. Troy McClure has not been on the show since 1998, since the unfortunate, untimely passing of his voice actor, Phil Hartman. But he continues to make me laugh all these years later. Troy would typically introduce himself by listing some of the many absurd films and TV shows he has starred in. Lead paint, delicious but deadly. And here comes the metric system. Dig your own grave and save. The Revenge of Abe Lincoln. Alice doesn't live anymore. And mommy, what's wrong with Batman's face? A personal favorite moment of mine, his performance in Planet of the Apes the Musical, is the reason this voice breakdown episode is going to be very hard for me to get through without laughing. <laughs> Just for kicks. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> get your paws. <laughs> Try that again. Let's break this voice down. It's the part I was born to play, baby! Component number one, the vocal cords. Troy McClure has such a presence to his voice. It is big and bombastic. To do this, we need to do a few things with the vocal cords. First, the pitch is usually pretty low. There are certainly inflectional variations to it. He doesn't speak in monotone. But we aren't going to be breaking into a head voice here. Keep those pitches low. Additionally, there is a real firm compression to the voice, meaning how tightly the vocal cords are coming together. You really want to make this the chestiest of chest voices possible. I make sure to have zero air leak between the vocal cords when doing this one. He will often trail off into a vocal fry at the end of a phrase, but the voice still has a great deal of power even when doing that. Also, don't be afraid to be loud on this voice. We definitely want a fair amount of volume. P is for psycho, and the president's neck is missing. Earwigs, ooh, and man versus nature, the road to victory. Alien nose job, and five fabulous weeks of the Chevy Chase show. Component number two, the larynx. If you have watched a lot of voice breakdown, you have probably noticed that certain components tend to go together. The soft palate tends to rise when the larynx lowers, for example, or the higher the larynx, the easier it is to have stronger compression of the vocal cords. But this voice defies some of those conventional patterns, which make it a bit challenging. The larynx is a good example of this. When lowering the larynx, it is natural for many people to decompress the vocal cords a bit. This means they become a bit breathier. Remember that yawning helps to give you a sense of a lowered larynx. But as I yawn, notice how my voice gets a bit breathier. This is natural. For Troy McClure's voice, however, we need to have the super firm compression of the vocal cords while having a pretty low larynx. This is what gives him that real bombastic sound. This will likely take you some trial and error, but we need to keep that solid vocal cord connection while having all of the open space created by lowering the larynx. Get your paws off me, you dirty ape! He can talk, he can talk, he can talk! I can sing! Component number three, the tongue. Recall that I mentioned just how strong and present this voice is. To help give me even more of a strong, compressed voice, I retract the back of the tongue. While we do want to be able to compress the voice without tongue retraction, retracting the tongue in addition will give us that extra strength we need. It also plays a small role in his resonance as well. So be sure to retract the tongue. 
What's wrong with me? I think you're crazy. Want a second opinion? You're also lazy. Can I play the piano anymore? Of course you can. Well, I couldn't before. Component number four, the soft palette. Like the larynx, this is another tricky component that goes against natural instincts. Typically, when we lower the larynx, the palate rises. The larynx and palate usually move in opposite motion of each other. For this voice, while we don't want to significantly lower the palate, we do still want to get a bit of nasal resonance in there. Think about it like splitting the difference with some mouth resonance and some nose resonance. But do think of lowering it just a bit to feel some of those nasal vibrations. Troy McClure's voice requires the fullness of the dark frequencies combined with the sharpness of the brighter frequencies. It's a difficult balance to achieve, but the soft palate helps us get there. Christmas Ape! And Christmas Ape goes to summer camp! Son of Sanford and Son! Out with Gout 88! Component number five, articulation. Troy has incredible diction. We want to make sure to use standard American English, but be very crisp and precise with all of the sounds. Even though he is an on-screen actor, he almost has a radio show host quality to his voice. Be sure to give every sound its full worth. Of course, as we said for component number three, there is slight retraction in the back of the tongue, which might affect your ability to articulate somewhat as you first learn this voice. I also tend to have slight lip retraction, almost like a smile, when doing this voice. I'm Troy McClure! I'm Troy McClure! My lips are usually just a bit wide and pulled to the side. I can really feel these lips and cheeks working. While this is an aspect of articulation, I find that doing this wider articulation assists in gaining those bright frequencies I mentioned earlier. I hate every ape I see, from chimpan A to chimpanzee. No, you'll never make a monkey out of me. Component number six, prosody. Troy McClure has some pretty particular inflectional patterns, since most of his lines are him introducing himself and listing his acting credits. This allows for a pretty simple prosody formula to follow. Throughout almost all of his lines, he is loud and bombastic. You will notice too that his pitch will start higher and then fall at the end of most phrases. It often drops so low that it becomes vocal fry. We call this a vocal fry fall off. Listen how at the end of the phrases, there is that distinct drop in pitch and a bit of a crackle. Two minus three equals negative fun. And firecrackers, the silent killer. As we said earlier, it is a pretty strong vocal fry, but still has a crackle to it nonetheless. Oh my god, I was wrong. It was Earth all along. You finally made a monkey. Yes, we finally made a monkey. Yes, you finally made a monkey out of me. Dr. Zayas! Let's recap. Component number one. The vocal cords. We want to use a low-pitched voice with firm compression, utilizing vocal fry at the ends of phrases and a good amount of volume. Component number two. The larynx. Lower the larynx to give us that full resonance sound. Component number three. The tongue. Retract the back of the tongue to aid in the strength of the voice as well as some of the resonance. Component number four. The soft palate. Split the difference, lowering the soft palate a bit to add some nasal resonance. Component number five. Articulation. Use a standard American dialect, make sure the diction is clear and crisp, and have slight retraction to the lips. Component number six. Prosody. Be loud, bombastic, and have the pitch drop significantly at the ends of phrases. Radioactive man. Radioactive Man 2, bring on the sequel. And Radioactive Man 3, oh god, not again. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. Thank you for watching New York Speech Coaching's Voice Breakdown, episode number 47. Be sure to check out future episodes of Voice Breakdown, the show where we teach you how to imitate some of the most iconic voices. See you next time.
It's the part I was born to play, baby!